Hello and welcome to this video on the fully defined sketch feature. My name is Robert French and I'm an applications engineer with GoEngineer. All right, the fully defined sketch feature, believe it or not, is used to fully define a sketch, at least help us, you know, figure out what isn't defined. Why is my sketch still blue? What movement is left? Can fully defined sketch help me kind of lock that down? Fully defined sketch can also be very useful when we have several dimensions we need to add, and rather than using the Smart Dimension tool and doing lots of manually clicking, this tool can automatically pop a lot of dimensions boxes on our screen that we can then use to just modify and, and, and type in our correct numbers. So here's a look at the Property Manager for Fully Defined Sketch. First, we'll define you know what entities are we trying to lock down here. We don't have to do all of them. We can select specifically. We'll choose what relations are valid. You don't have to check all of these if some lines are close to horizontal, but we know they're at an angle because of our design intent. We can uncheck those boxes and prevent them from being erroneously added to our sketch. And lastly, we'll choose a dimensioning style and a zero point, kind of where these dimensions are springing from. Let's jump into the software and take a look at the tool in action. All right, here in SolidWorks, I already have a part file open. And we have one sketch for this guy in the feature tree. Let's edit that sketch and take a look. What do you know? No dimensions and possibly some missing relations as well. Perfect time for fully defined sketch to help us lock this guy down. Fully defined sketch by default lives on the sketch tab underneath the display delete relations drop down. Running the command, we see the property manager we saw earlier. Up at the top, what entities do I want to fully define? In this particular case, with no dimensions, I'm going to leave it on all entities. Moving on down to relations. Now I do have some relations in here already, but add more if, if they're necessary, if they make sense, if they're practical. For instance, these three holes we see at the bottom of this sketch look like they're horizontal to one another. Well, if they're close enough, SolidWorks will see that and with my horizontal option turned on for relation, add a horizontal relationship between those holes. Same thing could go for the equal radius size or a vertical relationship to the other hole, right? We're basically indicating what relations we're okay with adding to our sketch here. And we've got to keep our design intent in mind, uh, knowing, you know, which of these, you know, using our engineering hat, knowing which of these relations actually makes sense to try to add to this sketch. And then lastly, we have the dimensions at the bottom. We have our horizontal dimension scheme and vertical dimension scheme. Each of these has options for dimensioning styles, chain, baseline, or ordinate. I'm a big fan of ordinate. It's very clean, so I'll stick with that on each. But we still need to define, you know, from where are these dimensions going to be created? Well, by default, it'll choose the origin, but I'll go out there and just reconfirm using this line. All right, this will be kind of my horizontal reference line. And I'll do the same thing for my vertical reference line. This doesn't have to be tied to the origin. Your dimensions can be zeroed on a completely arbitrary point somewhere in your design. Lastly, we choose where do we want these dimensions to appear? Well, since I'm down in the bottom left corner, kind of as my reference zero point, I'm gonna have my, all my dimensions show up below my design down here and to the left of my, uh, sorry, not design, but sketch here. I'll say calculate and several new relations and dimensions have all popped up on the screen. Now, I mentioned earlier, this can be used to lock down a sketch when it's not fully defined and you're not sure exactly you know, where I could add relations or what's the simplest solution to lock this down. It's always also very useful here when I didn't necessarily place these holes in the exact location. This dimension might not be correct, but fully defined sketch added all of these items for me that I can go in now and quickly make changes to on the fly. Much quicker than manually adding with Smart Dimension and going back and editing after the fact. It gets all of them down for me automatically. You'll also notice these three holes at the bottom, which were pretty much right in line, have had horizontal relations placed between them. Since they were almost equal in size as well, equal relations are applied to them, and only one dimension with our instance number callout is mentioned. So whether you're unsure about what's floating or what's what's not fixed or defined in your sketch or you really don't want to go through Smart Dimension and, and click every single one of the different entities you need to define, 
Um, you can use fully defined sketch to throw those on there, so you just have to double click and type in your values. So pretty handy tool for both you know, beginning users and people that are trying to really speed up their designs as an advanced user. That's it for the fully defined sketch feature. Thanks for watching.